Number 24, what is the range of the function f where f of x is equal to negative four plus three sine of two x plus five pi? Well, first of all, what's confusing about this is that it's not really in the proper form that we were used to seeing, y equals a sine bx. Now, if we put this three sine 2x plus 5 pi, and then we have the 4 being subtracted afterwards, we can see here that this is going to be a shift on the y-axis, the same way that if we have f of x, and that were to equal, we'll just say x squared, then if we took f of x plus 2, this would shift it inside the parentheses left 2. So it would be more like this. Or if it were, let's say it's f of x plus two minus three, that would shoot, whoa, that would move it left two and down three. So it would look something like this. So the same thing's happening with this trig graph over here. The three tells us the amplitude, that's how high or low it goes from the center of the curve. And this is a shift here on the y, and this would be a shift on the x-axis. x-axis shift, y-axis shift, amplitude. Again, if we have a regular sort of y equals sine x, the amplitude is the distance from here to here, right? So normally this equation would go up three and down three. However, the whole thing is being shifted down four. So instead of from three to negative three, it's gonna go all the way down from negative three, it's gonna go down four to negative seven and now it's going to go down from here to positive, or rather negative one. It's going to shift down from being at three here, down four to negative one. So from negative seven to negative one will be the range of this function because the range is referring to the possible y values. Now we can put our calculator in radians and graph this. So I'm going to go ahead and do so. By going into y equals, I'm going to choose the mode to make sure that I'm in radians, and I am. And now I'm going to go ahead and, and graph this. So here I am in y equals. Now it was negative 4 plus 3 sine 2x plus 5 pi. I go back to my calculator here. I plug this in. And now I'm going to hit zoom trig to get myself a nice looking trig graph. And I must have typed in something wrong. Negative four plus, oh, I put, I should put minus four. Negative four, not minus four. So now I'm going to go to zoom trig. And of course I can't see the bottom of it, so I'm going to have to zoom out now. Now I can see the whole thing. And I could go right up to this graph itself and hit the trace button here. And I can see that my y values as I go from negative one to negative, almost to negative seven. And you can see it's gonna go down to negative seven and back up to negative one. We could zoom in and find the, uh, the min and the max, but that's pretty dramatic and unnecessary.